I have always considered myself an outsider, more by nature than by choice. In a culture that's more remote, one becomes more aware of this fact. Nothing makes me feel more alive than being a stranger, not belonging here or there, but somewhere indefinitely in between. Alienation, loneliness, or being lost in a city like Tokyo triggers my senses, both physically and mentally. It feeds my curiosity and hunger for experience. I embrace the city, especially her dark alleys hidden in a sea of neon lights. This is where she pauses, takes a breath, and everything seems interrupted only to awake again behind closed sliding doors. But I always need to go further and deeper, submerge myself totally in her mystic charm, whatever pleasure or sorrow it might bring. As a photographer, I instinctively collect evidence to objectify fragments of my journey. The only thing that counts at my only destination is the next photo. My only fear is running out of film or batteries for my flash. Drawn into the black of night and the seamy side of life, I met many of her inhabitants. Despite the language barrier, I was able to build significant friendships with people who taught and guided me further along my way. Especially following my friend and traditional tattoo artist Horikazu in Tokyo's Asakusa district was a wonderful experience. The master introduced me to many new places, but moreover, to his eclectic clientele who often but not always identify as Yakuza, and allowed me to take their photographs. Please enjoy my visual diary I made during the times I stayed in Japan as a guest of the master. I hope my work will slightly open a window into a world that normally remains hidden and yet has become a second home to me.